Hello guys, welcome back to Good Trevor Tips. In this video, let's see how you can download and install 15 second ADB installer. If you are looking for the minimal ADB and fast boot tool installation, then click on the i button or in the description down below. So guys, first you need to go to the link in the description down below which I provided. Right? Once you go over there you have to scroll down a little bit and from here you have to download the file and you have to go for the 15 second ADB installer you have to download from here. Go for download, right? So if you are looking for the minimal ADB, then we also provided the files of it. You can also download it from here. Once after successfully downloading 15 second ADB installer, now you will have to open this up. You will be getting a new interface where you have to answer following these question. So as you can see, they're asking, do you want to install ADB and fastboot? You have to go for Y. You mean you have to press Y in keyboard and go for enter. Now they again they are asking install ADB system wide which you have to go for yes and press enter. The ADB and fast would be continued to get installed. Then they are asking the final question do you want to install device driver which you have to go for yes. Then you have to press enter. Now as you can see it is installing you have to go for next then finish. Now guys you have successfully installed ADB and fastboot in your device. Now let's see where the files are installed so that you have to go to local disk C. Then as you can see at the top there is a folder ADB which you have to select. From here the both files fastboot and ADB successfully installed. You need to remember that you have to put your device into USB debugging mode before you connect to PC. If you just ignore this step the possibility is your PC won't recognize your device. Before that, you need to enable the developer option. So to enable the developer option, you have to follow these very simple steps. First, you have to go to settings. Right Now you have to scroll down a little bit and you have to go for airport phone. Now you have to scroll down a little bit and you have to tap on the build number for seven times so that you will be a developer. Now once after enabling the developer option, you have to go for system. Then go for advanced option where you have to go for developer options. And from here it is already enabled. You have to go a little bit down so that as you can see the USB deb debugging which you have to enable. Some of you might be wondering why I need an ADB and fastboot. ADB is a small debug tool for Android software development kit that can be accessed using the command prompt on Windows. and Users can perform the task by sending special commands to the Android devices from the PC. In order to root or flashing new firmware, ADB can be very helpful. Fastboot commands are used when you are in the bootloader mode. It can be accessed when the smartphone is fastboot or bootloader mode and connected to a PC via USB cable. We can flash a boot image file or unlock or relock the device bootloader etc. Moreover, we can go ahead and flash any custom recovery like TWRP to root your device and open the world of customization for your phones. Let us know in the comment sessions if you have successfully unlocked the bootloader using the above method or not. So that's all about when it comes to this video. This is Shahin signing off from Gitshare Tips and keep practicing social distance. See you soon in the next video. Peace out.